Hello, you are welcome once again to SMS Course Accounting Lecture Series. In our last lecture, we learned about the terminologies used in course accounting. Some of the terminologies that we use in course accounting include the cost center, cost unit, unit cost, cost ascertainment, cost control, cost reduction, cost object, cost estimation, cost drivers, and many more. Now that we have been able to understand some of these terminologies, today we will be going in to look at costing system, or you can say cost accounting system. What do we intend to achieve? <clears throat> By the end of this lecture today, we should be able to explain a cost accounting system. We should be able to list four features of a costing system. We should be able to state at least four factors to consider when we are installing a costing system in an organization. And we should be able to list at least four qualities of your good cost information. So, what is a costing system? <clears throat> or you can say a cost accounting system. Now, a costing system is established in the organization and it is part of the accounting system of the organization and the purpose of it is to produce reports cost data so that management will use it to make decisions okay so we are saying that it it provides information about costs so the major aim of the costing system is to provide information about cost and the efficiency of the organization so we are saying that it is a system designed to provide information concerning costs and efficiency. It is part of the accounting system of an organization. Now they are classified into two. Cost systems are classified into two. We have what we call the cost methods and the cost techniques. The cost methods are those processes, those methods that are applied to determine cost of activities. So when you apply a method so that you'll be able to determine the cost of a product, the cost of a service, the cost of an activity, the cost of a process, then it is a cost method. Examples, job costing is an example of a cost method. Contract costing is an example. Then we can talk about service costing among others. So a system that is used as a term cost of an activity is a cost method. So job costing, contract costing, batch costing, process costing, service costing, among others. All these are cost methods. So cost techniques. So when we talk of the technique, it is about decision making. So the cost techniques are saying that they are the techniques that we adopt by management to provide information for decision making. Are you following that? So the techniques include the marginal and absorption costing, the standard costing, the budgetary control, the uniform costing, the break-even analysis, among others. So all these helps management to make or to take decisions. Are you following that? So in effect, what we are saying is that the, the cost system that I made into two, we have one part called the cost methods that we use to ascertain cost of activities. So it is that part of the system that is used to ascertain cost of activities. So these methods are what we have mentioned. Then the techniques are the ones adopted by management to provide cost information for decision making. Are you with me? There. Now let's look at the characteristics of a custom system. What are the features? One, a custom system should be relevant. When we say something is relevant, it means it meets the need of the users. Are you following that? So users can take that information and make a decision. So if a custom system can, will provide information that will not meet our need, then we cannot say it's a relevant uh, system. So we are saying that a good custom system must be relevant to the needs of users and the users here are normally the management like i explained earlier cost accounting provide information for managerial decision making all right it is not accounting which is for outside it is normally for the, uh, the internal users now another characteristic of it is that it should be accurate the system should not be inefficient it was inaccurate it should be what accurate for the intended purpose so an inaccurate system would will result in what inaccurate results and if you have inaccurate results management cannot make 
any meaningful decision out of it so your system should be accurate okay then the system should also be simple it should be in a way that management will understand it at the same time it should produce reports that management understand so a good custom system should be easy to understand and must produce reports that are easily understood by management if you have a custom system that provides information that is so complex that people do not understand it then what is the essence of it at all so the custom system that you are looking at should be something that is what well, easy to understand if you produce reports that management can make meaningful decision out of it are you following that then we're also saying that it should be cost effective or we can say it should be economical when we say cost effective what we are saying is that the benefit that you are going to derive from the system should be more than the cost of it so if i am going to install a system the cost i'm going to it was in, in care in installing and maintaining the system will exceed the benefits i'm going to derive from the system then it doesn't make sense to, to put it so we say it is uneconomical so when we say something should be cost effective what we are saying is that it should be economical so the benefit of installing the custom system should exceed the cost incurred in its installation and maintenance these are the characteristics of a custom system what did i say we say the custom system should be what relevant in relevant we mean it should be it should meet the needs of users we're also saying that it should be what it should be accurate an inaccurate system will result in what in inaccurate reports so it will not make any meaningful decision making then it should be simple we should be able to understand the system and how it operates and the report it's produced should also be understood by management then it should be economical these are the characteristics of a custom system now before in an organization you install a custom system you need to look at some things but before that let's just take a look at the purposes of a custom system if you put a custom system and install it what do you intend to achieve now a custom system is like this. that's the cost account we are talking about so one of the purposes of it is that it will help us to disclose profitable and unprofitable activities in the organization we explained that when we're looking at the functions all right so it's like a, this, this a, they are like just like the same thing we are bringing in here then we are saying that it will aid us in stock valuation so you you you'll be able to apply material costing so you're looking at methods such as fifo lifo weighted average simple average all these are methods of valuing stock cost accounting system when you install it it will help us to do this then we are saying that it will also help manage that decision making so the report that comes in management will use it and make a decision out of that then we can also ascertain the cost of a product when you are determining it you can use it to determine cost of products you can use cost of job service process all these are methods there so job costing process costing service costing there are ways we can use to work methods we can use to determine the cost of these things all right yes, so that is one of the purpose of objective of cost costing system then we can also use to estimate estimate the fix and fix the price of a product or service the selling price so if you know the cost you just add a markup profit and you know how much you can sell your commodity or your service then we can also control the cost of a product we can control the cost of a process we can control the cost of a job or a service with the aid of a custom system so these are the purposes or objectives of establishing or installing a cost accounting system what should we be looking out for when we are to install it number one if you want to install a custom system you should consider some factors one of them is the objectives and expectations of management what do management intend to achieve for installing it look at it is the system going to align with the objectives if no then if you install the system it will not work because management have set objectives they want to achieve the system that you are bringing in should be something that will help them achieve those objectives and expectations all right so before you install a custom system you must look at this again they need to understand the nature of business so businesses are different what are the aspects of it what products are they producing what is the process flow what are the methods of production you need to look at all these things all right so that will help you to install a custom system that what that would be tailored to the needs of that organization so understanding the nature of the business understanding its technical aspects knowing the kind of products we are doing knowing the methods of production we are applying will help us in what is the name develop and install a proper cost accounting system that will meet the need of the organization so you must consider this so all the relevant parties need to be involved from the start until the date of delivery 
who and who need to be involved you must identify them in the organization and let them be part of the what the the the, the, the installation of the custom system from the pattern of it till the end when it will be ready to kick off if they are not part they might decide not to be they will just be nodding their heads at the end of the day they will not mind let them be involved let them feel like yes we are we are all working towards making the organization a better place we are all putting this question system and the question system is not coming to check you out no it has been installed there to help us reduce our costs help us manage our activities properly and it will benefit all of us any day when we make more profit the business will grow if you are an employee there you earn more salary all right so involve all parties from the start to the to the finish of the project then again you study the various departments what are the scope of responsibilities of the various head of department you have divisions organization you have your selling department you have your production department you have all the other departments that are necessary what is their, the scope of their responsibilities we need to understand it then the question system will be designed to tailor that particular responsibility then we are also saying that <coughs> the details of cost records should be carefully worked what are the details of the cost records work it out critically and understand it let them understand what we are going to do so before you install a custom system you must look at the details of the cost records what will it be entailing then the custom system to be installed should be easy to understand and simple to operate if you bring a custom system that people don't understand how it's working and they don't understand it they will not evaluate they will not consider it it will just be there so you must bring it so that it will be able to understand it understanding that the custom system will enable us accept the reports all right so the reports will be understandable at the end of the day so we can make meaningful decisions out of it if you don't understand the system how do you make a decision then the installation operation of the system should be economical we have said it you should consider it so if i put this system will it meet will it will it meet give me benefits more than the cost i i inquired in, in what's the name in installing it if the answer is yes then you can put it but if it is no then there's no need so in standard consciousness you must look at it whether it is economical that is what we say cost effective is it cost effective okay now let us now look at the qualities of a good cost information so what is a cost information a cost information normally cost accounting when you install the system it will generate reports the cost reports are the information they will receive and this one will help us to make a decision so when you install a cost accounting system it produces information are you following that so that information we are looking at it what are the qualities of such an information all right so we're saying one the information that we are providing should be relevant so the relevance we are talking about it to meet the needs of the users we should be able to use it to make decision if you bring an information that we cannot make a decision out of that information then it means that it is not relevant it's not important it's useless so an information is relevant if it helps the user in making decisions so you bring the custom system it should meet the needs of the management another quality is that it should be reliable reliability here we are talking about it being free from errors it being neutral being objective in fact it should represent what it is supposed to represent is it representing what it's supposed to represent what is the information saying what do we expect from it is it giving us the same thing we said when you when you put a you get a b is that what information is given to us an information reliable if it represents what he's supposed to represent so it should be neutral it should be verifiable and it should be devoid of errors it should not be biased such information when it's coming in fact you can use it to make meaningful decision so it should be reliable another thing is what comparability when we say comparability we should be able to use that information and compare it with other informations so the course information is generating this year we should be able to make comparison with the next year are you, are you following that if it is the same activity we should be able to make the comparison we should be able to make comparison of cost of products we should be able to make comparison of cost of services okay so with comparison what we are saying is that it must enhance comparison the cost data of one product or service must be able to be compared with the cost data of another product or service are you following that that is what we are talking about that's comparability then we are saying that the information we are providing should also be what timely timely information means it should be presented at a time we need the information 
we need an information to fix price of our commodities to sell next month then you bring the information in uh, was it, uh, next two months it will not solve the problem so the information you are provided should be available at a time for the decision making it should not be presented too late it should not be too early if it's too early maybe inflation sentences can come in and the decision woman to, to make it will not are you following that so we have to consider the information presented at the right time then the information are bringing should be brief management managers normally are too busy they don't they don't normally have time to go through so many lengthy documents so what we are bringing in it should not be too lengthy it should be in the form that is summarized that is short but contain the necessary information so the management can use it to make a decision are you following that yes we get all we all get bored when you are reading so you are explaining so many things that are not necessary so bring in the relevant information put out what is important the course information should be able to do this if it is able to do that then it is a good course information so we are saying that the qualities of a good course information are relevant reliable comparable it should be timely and it should be brief these are the qualities of a good course information have we been able to achieve our objectives yes we have been able to explain what a cost accounting system is we have looked at the classes of cost accounting systems we have also looked at the characteristics of a costing system what are its purposes what are the factors we need to consider before we install a cost accounting system and we have looked at the qualities of a good cost information now in our next lecture we will be looking at types of forms of costs we have so many types of forms of cost direct cost indirect cost the prime costs we are having so many of them the sum cost the past cost the historical costs we will have to throw more light on these types of costs so that we will abreast ourselves with their concepts thank you very much for coming today and have a wonderful day Goodbye.